speaking on Alaska, intersections of subsistence, textiles, fashion, and ecological systems, Luciana Scruchen. Great, that sounds good. Hi. As faculty in the School of Fashion, I teach various avenues of textile mm -hmm. making. Alaska has a rich history of unique trapping, tanning, and cloth making processes. My collaboration with my colleague, Julia Petit, focuses on Alaska's subsistence practice in the production of fur pelts, fish leathers, and a coveted natural dye stuff lichens. We are investigating weaving, embroidery, and printed textile practices that are used in traditional cloth making and revision in contemporary Alaskan fashion and textile industries. Some of the regions of our exploration include Kodiak, Juneau, Anchorage, and Barrow. And there, there's many other places in Alaska that we visit. Those are just a few of them that I'm speaking about today. The core of our research is collaborating with local, the local Alaskan government, Native Alaskans, to discover their distinctive talents and share knowledge, discover ethical processes of dyeing with lichen using various sources of Alaskan glacier water. The colors achieved from the dyeing will be used for tanning and surface manipulation of local materials that can be obtained across Alaska and incorporated into organic textile design production. We are focusing at the moment on some of the byproducts and the performance of the byproducts of the salmon, halibut, and a highly contested sea skin, I'm sorry, seal skin, in addition as well as a highly contested otter fur as well, which is not necessarily a byproduct, but there's other political and overpopulation issues with that as well as fibers from the Alaskan musk oxen, mountain goat, and whale baleen to hopefully ultimately develop different types of textiles and future textiles interweaving these different types of fibers together into new cloths. Thank you. <laughs> 